Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2018 Grand Design Solitude 373 FB Quad Slide Luxury Fifth Wheel. Overall exterior length is 41 feet, 4 inches, and the exterior height to the dual large 15,000 BTU AC units is 13 feet, 5 inches. And the camper weighs unloaded, or the UVW, right around 13,748. And I'll show that little tag if I don't forget in the end of the video on the back side of the camper. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. This is a one owner coach. The only reason why the owner is selling it is because they are done with the RV lifestyle. This is pretty much fully loaded. The only thing this coach does not have is a generator. All right, you got the idea. Let's start off. This is a quad slide coach. Start off with the living room slide. As always, it's a super slide. It's about uh, 14 foot long and three foot deep. Huge windows on this floor plan, by the way. Nice uh, MCD style roller blinds. They're the blackout blinds those are the ones you want all the windows are all frameless tinted windows and I believe they're like an 80% tint kind of show off the lights and the slide out huge slide out by the way I think that may be almost a seven foot tall slide out all right uh, the first slide out accommodates the freestanding table and chairs kind of show off the fabrics it's gonna be tan colors uh, some browns looks like little flakes of gold or silver everything on the camper inside pretty much excellent condition I think any dealer would agree with me show off the wood I'm not sure what they're calling the wood as far as the color I'm gonna have to double check and I'll try to put it in the description also in the first slide out is the theater seating by Thomas Payne this is all Thomas Payne furniture and is power, heat, massage, lights, obviously, and nice little tables. Show off the lights and uh, fabrics. It's that ultra leather, tan leather finish or leatherette. Excellent condition. In the rear, you do have the tri-fold sleeper sofa. Definitely sleep definitely two grown adults easily on this you could stick a whole bunch of kiddos on this if you wanted to the hardware is going to be I believe going to be like some kind of a nickel finish on the hardware This is going to be the second slide out. Again, another super slide. It's going to be at least 14 foot long, probably a 15 footer. Uh, but anyway, it accommodates the, obviously the power lift TV and a little button here. Put the TV up and down. And I believe that's going to be a 50 inch, maybe, might be bigger than that. And I will show that it does when the TV's down. It does have another big window in the back there. Fireplace is going to be a 5,000 uh, BTU heating source. Uh, and panning over in the kitchen area, you do have the island kitchen. Beautiful light accent, LED light accent up underneath. Solid surface countertops. Some of the best countertops you're going to get on a fifth wheel. Solid surface countertops also in the second slide out. You do have a three burner gas cooktop by Furion and you do have the stainless steel finish on the oven and again it's Furion digital readout which is really nice should have done that a long time ago convection oven and again stainless steel finish on all the appliances nice little pots and pans drawer up underneath there huge pantry so LED light accent when you open up the door. All the shelves are all adjusting. And also in the second slide out is the large 18 cubic foot 
four door uh, stainless steel finish refrigerator gas and electric not just gas whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power you're good to go don't need an inverter definitely going to be one of the largest refrigerators you're going to get on a fifth wheel it is by nor cold just turn it on a couple hours later you've got cold reefer definitely one of the largest freezers you're going to get on a fifth wheel and there are no dinks except a little tiny let's see if I can get it there it is right there uh, if I didn't point it out you wouldn't even notice it but I do find it important to point out little things like that island kitchen you got 110 outlets on each side of the sink which is convenient nice double bowl undermounted stainless steel sink huge sink by the way beautiful light fixture in the kitchen all your lights are all obviously LED lights saves you on your battery that's going to be the half bath. Nice little area for taking off your shoes. Hanging up coats. Putting odds and ends up in there. Half bath, flush flush, uh, foot flush toilet. Medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. And this coach is equipped with fantastic vent fans all throughout with rain sensors. And there is also one in the kitchen. Here's your little remote there for the uh, operation for the fantastic vent fan. Here's another one. And there's that fantastic vent fan. You see the little umbrella in the bottom right hand corner? That means it's rain sensor. So when it rains and you leave it open, you're gone. It would automatically shut, which is really awesome. Oh, a little place to store your boots and shoes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There's some shoes. Walking up into the master bedroom. Uh, this is going to be the third slide out, and it is the optional king bed. And this bed does lift up. There's storage up underneath. 110 outlets on each side of the bed. In case somebody has a sleep app machine or wants to charge uh, smart devices. Love the way they did the headboard with the window above the headboard for more lighting. And again, you have the roller MCD style blackout shades on all your windows. I like to show off the headboard. Uh, it's finished out in wood. And again, it's kind of the same fabric as the chairs in the living room. It's got little flakes of silver. I don't know if you can see it. Nice uh, seating on each side of the dresser there. And those cushions do lift up. You can put storage up underneath there. That's definitely a neat concept. And this is gonna be your second TV. I'm gonna say it's probably a 32 inch flat screen. Walking into the front bathroom, you do have the solid wood door. It's a barn style door sliding door which is really nice huge front bathroom by the way double sink and this is going to be your fourth slide out great floor plan bath and a half floor plan definitely one of the most popular in a fifth wheel huge one-piece shower residential style shower glass enclosed with seating it's all seamless. This is the kind of shower you want in an RV. You don't have to worry about caulking seams in your shower. Nice skylight. Huge walk-in closet. This coach is 50 amp service, washer and dryer prep. And I do believe the kitchen area is prepped if you wanted a dishwasher. Washer and dryer goes right there. You could put a stackable or a combo unit.
This camper is four seasons. It's rated at zero degrees all the way up to 110. Oh, well, I've got good lighting here. Show off that uh, flooring. It's the wood plank flooring, vinyl flooring finish, and your ACs are the dual 15,000 large BTU AC units all ducted all throughout, and they do have the quick dump feature. Open up these louvers, does a quick dump, cools it off real quick. Once you've got it cooled off, then close off these louvers, and you'll have ducted AC all throughout. Your furnace is going to be the large 35,000 BTU furnace, so combined heating source on this coach is 40,000 BTUs with the uh, fireplace also. This is considered an extended living camper. So if you wanted to live in this full time, you could do it. You have that option. Kind of give you one last look. Up and down in the living room area. Again, great floor plan. This is a wide body floor plan. That's why it looks so large. All right. Show off the monitor panel and then we'll go outside. Monitor panel here. Let's get some more lighting here. Open up this door. All right. Switches for your awning. Light switches up here. Nice charging station for smart devices. Down here is your central command. Uh, this is where you uh, can check on your tanks. That's pretty easy to figure out. All your switches. Your water heater switch, which is just 12 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater and your uh, tank heaters you do have uh, tank pad heaters on all your holding tanks and you also have forced uh, heat into the underbelly to heat the underbelly so that's why it's rated at zero degrees and interior lights all that stuff good stuff and here's your slide buttons and nice converter convenient you don't have to get down and on the floor to check your breakers and all that you do have the solid step set up here and that stair, the steps collapse up into the door. Nice clean look when you're traveling down the road. And again, as I said, this is full, fully loaded, full body paint. One of the best finishes you're gonna get on a fifth wheel, kind of back up here. Full gel coat, fiberglass, painted finish. Beautiful front, molded, painted, gel coated front cap. Show off that solitude badge there. You do have LED light accent to accent when you're coming up to the camper or if you want to hitch up, nice and easy. Uh, Rotaflex, it's uh, the hitch pin box system is for a smoother ride. Huge exterior garage storage on this coach. It's gonna be your hydraulic setup here in case you need to service it. Solar prep. Kind of show down the side, show off that beautiful full body paint gel coat finish. Two, uh, I believe, 30 pound, yeah, 30 pound LP tanks, one on each side. I'll show you the one on the back side. Insulated baggage doors, slam latch baggage doors with magnets. Those are things they should have done a long time ago. This is going to be your aluminum framing all throughout. You have, you have all your sidewalls, your floors, your roof. It is all aluminum framed. Huge storage. And this is heated. There's your forced heat duct work right there above the tables. Slam latch baggage doors. Gotta love them. Six point leveling. Hydraulic leveling, kind of show off those legs. And again, enclosed heated underbelly. That's why another reason why it's rated zero degrees. The owners just found out that the, this was an outside shower sprayer. Anyway, you hook up the sprayer to that 110 outlet. Nice and convenient. Dual awnings, one of them is going to be a 10 footer, probably the one on the living room slide out here. And it is armless, which is nice. You're not busting your head on the arms. And this one's going to be, I believe, a 14 foot awning. Nice LED light accents or LED lights in the tubes there. 
and again your frameless bus style tinted windows and again I think they're 80% tint and again love to show off that gel coat finish uh, I'm getting ahead of myself trail air suspension system for a smoother ride almost like an independent suspension 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels the tires are G rated let's back up here show off that full body paint scheme backup camera that was uh, set up I believe the owners put on after they purchased it wireless backup camera definitely something they should have came up with a long time ago also let's try to back up here let's uh, I want to show off that color I did check this coach for water damage, delamination, did not find anything like that, any bubbling or anything that would be a concern. Black tank sewer flush, flushes out your toilet. 12 gallon water heater service panel here, 50 amp service, marine style cord. And what's really neat, I like it when they do this little light to show you that you do have power coming in in case you're trying to figure out uh, power issues. Slam latch baggage doors, and this is gonna be the, hookups area for your waters and all your gate valves your uh, gate valves are all insulated up into the underbelly and protected from the elements whole house water filtration this is a direct TV setup the owners did uh, they can tell you more about it he, he's done a lot of stuff with the entertainment part of this coach and of course your another outside shower hot and cold running water and this uh, basically all your winterizing directions pretty easy to figure out all right you get the idea oh low point drain valves are also in the heated compartment area six point leveling system is operated by this panel there pretty easy to figure out and if you don't know you can just read the directions right there on the door Slam latch baggage doors. And this is your other 30 pound LP tank right there. It's a beautiful camper. Uh, I did notice one little thing and it's a non-issue. Uh, the owner says he's, he didn't even notice it. He's gonna touch it up with a little paint. It's just a little chip on the paint right there. Normal wear and tear. Uh, at the, any dealer, if they took this in on trade, I think they would rate it excellent condition. It's beautiful. All right, I know I probably didn't get everything. I usually say that, but uh, these solitudes, they got a lot of stuff on them. Uh, anyway, if you uh, want to come out and see the camper, just call the number on the ad, or you can call 502-645-3124. You deal directly with the owner always. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.